Right, I'm starting this video from below deck. Lots of new looking components on the transmission. Hey, okay. Look at that sump. It makes me start to think that the running gear on this vehicle is new. And that's the conclusion my mechanics have come to as well. They think that this vehicle quite possibly has had a new engine and transmission in it, um, and it's likely to have done less than 50,000 miles. Obviously, given the Eastman and Zamlet service um, not complying um, to provide us the service history, we have no idea. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, in, it's in good shape in that respect. It runs really, really well and it drives fantastic. One would wonder why they've got rid of it. Here's the isolator down there for all the stuff in the back, which I'll just go and get to now. Night heat is currently running on it. The bodywork is really good, minus where the stickers have been removed, etc. As you can see, the suspension is lowering to accommodate the stretcher. It's a really clean van. Inverter. It, it's all there. I mean, <clears throat> yes, the lights are missing. Yes, the stickers are missing, but that's virtually all it needs to be recommissioned as an ambulance. I'm sure the controllers are acquirable because, of course, it's missing the one in the front that turns all the lights on, which would have been just here. I'm sure they're acquirable, but of course, if not, there's many people out there, including my business, that can put lights in them. And I did ponder with the idea of maybe recommissioning it myself and having it as a vehicle to rent out. So the price that I'm putting this up for reflects how much I really like the prospect of this vehicle and how I think it's great value for money. Given the price as well, I will ensure that it comes with a 12 month MOT um, and a full engine service. Let's go ahead and stick this back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, that'll do it guys.